Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good day to you all. In the today's video, we are going to talk about boundary lubricated bearings. Okay, uh, this is chapter is taken from Shikli Mechanical Engineering Design Book. Okay, let's begin. Boundary lubrication or thin film lubrication. Okay, just to remind you, uh, for the previous video, we had we have talked about we have talked a lot about hydrodynamic lubrication, meaning that the lubricant is is so many in the in the shaft in the bearing. Okay, uh, all the theory about the previous videos in the previous chap uh, sub chapters is talking about lubricant is full inside here. Okay, now how about when lubricant is so become so little yeah, it is not adequate lubricant this is what we are talking about the lubricant is not adequate okay when two surface uh, surfaces like relative to each other with only a partial lubricant filler between exists between them lubricant boundary lubrication is said to exist boundary or thin filler lubrication occurs in hydrodynamic they are dynamically lubricated bearings when they are starting or stopping when the load increase when the supply of lubricant decrease or whatever after operating changes happen to occur there are of course very large number of cases in which design which boundary lubricant bearings must be used because the type of application or the cognitive situation okay so when uh, boundary lubrication uh, always happen okay when you switch off the machine at night and then uh, when you switch off the machine all the lubricant will flow into the its reservoir okay when you uh, when the shift morning shift come they they switch on the machine and when they switch on the machine the machine starts okay the, when the machine starts the machine start with low lubricant with the lubricant is so little okay and then gradually the lubricant will fill up all the uh, will fill up all the uh, parts okay or the general but while doing that the lubricant is so low okay lubricant function is to avoid metal to metal contact okay uh, if the lubricant is so low or there is no lubricant metal to metal contact metal to metal contact will happen and then wear and tear will happen on the bushing and on the general itself okay it's not good okay. um, second condition to boundary lubrication may happen is because the load is very high okay meaning when the general let's say my marker pen is the general this is the bushing if this is so heavy the lubricant will uh, it will push the lubricant with the assistance of gravity it will push the lubricant down and then uh, the minimum film thickness is so low that maybe metal to con metal to contact happen okay uh, and viscosity is lubricant is too low let's say that you service your car when you service your car 5,000 kilometer, 10,000 kilometer service uh, and after that service, if you do not service your car in time, uh, the lubrication, the lubrication in your car will not be very good. Okay, meaning that uh, uh, the car engine, the part, some part of the engine may have metal, metal contact and then your car is not going to perform uh, very well in long period of time okay so coefficient of friction for boundary lubricated surfaces okay coefficient of friction or bond for boundary lubricated surfaces may be greatly decreased by use of animal or vegetable oils mixed with mineral oil or grease fatty acid such as stearic acid palmeric acid oleic acid and several of these which occur in animal and vegetable products are called oiliness agents this acid appear to reduce friction either because of their strong affinity for certain metallic surface or, or because they form a soap that binds itself from metallic surface by chemical reaction. 
does fatty acid molecules bind themselves in the general and bearing surface with such great strength and the metal asperities of the rubbing do not wheel or shear okay so you can read this this is all uh, uh, talking about uh, the, the vegetable oils as the lubricant okay you see this graph okay taken i taken from uh, internet okay coefficient of friction this graph is indicate friction will happen a lot when there is no uh, there is there is no or very very little uh, boundary okay and then you see about boundary lubrication that, that we have talked uh, in previous videos okay the friction will be low okay of course in time when uh, temperature rise okay and everything uh, it will gradually increase okay that's why you have to do maintenance we're talking about this this is a slide we're talking about uh, boundary lubrication uh, this video is talking about boundary lubrication you need that when you start the machine switch on the machine at the morning okay uh, the friction friction is so high okay uh, this is what we want to avoid metal to metal contact you have to have a very thin film of lubrication so that it can move okay so, okay fatty acids we break down at temperature 20 uh, 250 Fahrenheit or more you can google what is the conversion for 250 Fahrenheit to Celsius okay uh, this will cause increased friction and wear in thin film lubrication bearing in such extreme pressure the lubricant may be mixed with fatty acid lubricant they are composed of chemicals such as chloronide esters and trigesteral phosphate which form organic filler between rubbing surface. Though extreme uh, pressure lubricants may be possible to operate at higher temperature, there is added possibility of excessive chemical corrosion on the sliding surfaces. This is chemists, they know better okay. uh, because in this field of lubrication, ongoing research they have done on uh, better lubricant for better lubricant including fatty acids uh, you know basic physics you know basic chemistry when uh, when some when heat involved extreme heat involved the properties will change and then some chemical reaction will happen inside and then the it will it, it will mix with the journal it will mix with the journal meaning that it always have the layer of lubricant inside it okay when or even when you clean it it will not uh, entirely clean okay until uh, unless you use uh, some strong chemical that can go out okay uh, that is uh, the chemical like fatty acids okay so bearing operation when bearing operates partly under hydrodynamic condition or partly under dry or thin film condition a mixed lubrication exists if the lubricant is supplied by hand oiling or by drop of mechanical feet or by weak feet for example bearing is printed under mixed film condition in, addi in addition to occurring a scarcity of lubricant mixed film condition may be present when viscosity is too low bearing is too low overload clearance is too tight or general or uh, and general bearing is not properly aligned yes uh, this is what may happen if uh, the mix okay the mix lubricant happen okay the relative motion between surfaces relative motion between surface in contact in the presence of lubricant called boundary lubrication this condition is present in hydrodynamic film bearing during starting stopping and overloading or lubricant deficiency some bearings are boundary lubricated or dry at all times to signal this an adjective is placed before the word bearing commonly applied adjective are thin film boundary friction or light or lights and bush pin this is what we call okay this is what we call it to mention that the lubricant is low okay so we name this as thin filler boundary lubricant and oils and oil and all 
the application uh, includes situation in which thick film is not developed and there are low general speed or skeleton general padded slides, light loads and lifetime. Lubrication. The characteristic includes considerable friction, ability to operate expected wear without losing function and light loading. Such bearing are limited by the lubricant temperature, speed, pressure, galling, cumulative wear. Okay. Table 27 give some properties. Okay, we see table 27. This is table 27. Some proper materials for boundary lubricant operation and their operating limits. Okay. This is the material, this is the maximum load, this is maximum temperature, maximum speed, and maximum value. Okay, pressure uh, and speed value. P is the load, V is the speed. Okay. Okay, you see here, meaning that this is a guidance for you. Do not exceed that. Do not exceed uh, the limit. Okay. So that's all for the video on uh, and then we see you in the next video on linear sliding wear. Thank you very much.